Hey, so a couple of really cool things about a modular synthesizer is one, they're typically analog, and two, they're completely patchable, and you can use cables and connect anything to anything, which is great. One of the side effects, however, is the cables. There's a lot of cables, and depending on how you plug them in, you might block a lot of the controls that you want to get in and adjust. So it would be great if we had some way of doing some kind of cable management. So I want to talk about normalization. If you go back and look at the ARP 2600, that was a normalized synthesizer like an Odyssey or something else, except that it was patchable. You could defeat the normalization connections with a cable. So you can actually do that here. So I want to talk about the Q146 normalizing module that synthesizers.com offers. And your CV and gates, for example, which kind of always go to the same place. My CVs always go to the oscillators because I want them to track the keyboard. My gate always goes to the ADSRs because I want to hear a sound when I hit the keyboard. What if those connections could be made behind the scenes and you don't have to deal with the cables on the front panel? One, it gets you to the sound faster because you're not having to hook those up. And two, you have fewer cables in the way. So let's take a look and see how that works. Okay, so my CV has to go to a multiple, then I have three outputs going to the three oscillators. My gate has to go to another multiple, and I have two cables coming out and going to the two envelope generators. That's seven cables for CV and gate. And of course, they're hanging in, in the way of my bottom row. What if I could get rid of those and it would still play? So here's how, here's how it sounds. Okay, oscillators tracking the CV, gate is triggering the ADSRs. Well, these inputs on the oscillators are already normalized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to take the pitch out. And I'm going to take a small cable here and go from pitch to the Q146 normalizer. Now, that means that all the oscillators are now connected to CB from behind the scenes. Still track the keyboard. Look at all the cables we got rid of. Now we can do the same thing with the gate. So I'm going to pull the gates out. And we'll take a gate here and go into the bottom half of the Q146 and now we have gates going to the envelope generators behind the scenes. So we just got rid of seven cables and yet we still have the same sound. Okay, so let's take a look behind the scenes. I'm going to take this Q146, pull it out, and basically you're going to see that it's a multiple but it has some additional cables coming off the back of the multiple jacks. And that's it, it's passive. Uh, any 5U system should be able to work with this. The oscillator, this jack right here is normalized, so let's take a peek at that. What you're gonna see is we have the jack there and we also have this additional cable running over to the Q146. Now, in order for that to happen, we took this out. This was the original jack, and it plugs into that circuit board. You just take that out. It just unplugs. There's no soldering. And then the new one looks like this. So it's the same size jack. It's a switch to jack now. Still has the pigtail on it, but it has this additional wire that goes to the Q146. So you simply put that in there, plug it in, and this module is normalized to our Q146. You get six of those behind the pitch and you get another six of those behind the gate, so that's 12. So there's quite a few things you can normalize if you want to with your CV and gates. The other cool thing is this gives you multiples right on the front panel. So if I put a CV here, I've got three extra CVs I can send out somewhere else on the front. Same with the gate. So this, is a, this takes the load off of your multiples. Because I'll tell you, when I start patching up something complicated, the multiples get real busy. So it's really nice having the CV and gates run behind the scene. Additional multiples right there. Good to go. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to take the output of my sequencer and go into the input of the Q146. 
I'm going to take the gate output and go into the gate input. And now my sequencer is going to be connected to this whole row with just two cables. Again, cable simplification right there. Okay, so some of you guys may remember that we built this 22 space about a month ago or so and did a whole video series on how we built it. Check those videos out. I wanted to show you that I made the decision not to put a MIDI module in here after all, and I went ahead and did another Q146. So this basically is gonna be triggered with CV and gate only. And it turns out that uh, I've got this uh, key step 37, which has got CV and gate outputs on it. Right here. And so literally with just two cables, I can play this synth. keeps it very tidy. So that's it. It's a handy tool. Q146 normalizer. Like I say, you could probably use this on any 5U unit. Uh, it's, I think it's very creative, uh, clever, and I love how it reduces the cable count. So that's it. Normalization. Cable management. Yes, sir. See ya.